Hello, War Gamers. Invasor Amos here. Uh, today, I just want to do a quick video uh, discussing a question that I got the other day and uh, kind of sharing my thoughts on that. And the question is, what do I think of buying counterfeit Forge World models from overseas? And uh, in brief, I think that it's unethical. And there are two main reasons for that. And that's what we'll talk about here for the next couple minutes. The first is that it's frankly illegal. Um, if these companies were operating within the United States or in Europe, um, they would be subject to the intellectual property laws of um, the U.S. or uh, those European nations and would not be able to conduct business as they are currently. Um, so there's just not a... Um, you're, you're really, you can't take the moral high ground and say that it's okay uh, from a legal standpoint or from a moral standpoint that, that this is um, the way that they're doing business. It's like, you know, trying to, it's like tax evasion, basically, right? Um, except for their, it's internet or intellectual property law evasion is what they're doing. Um, and so that's not cool, man. Uh, and the, the second reason, and I think this is potentially the more important one, is that um, as a gaming community, we are asking Games Workshop to listen to us and to respect us and consider our, um, our interest in the hobby and what we want and our needs for um, a consistent rule set and FAQs and providing models that you know address certain needs and everything like that, right? So we're asking Games Workshop to, you know, be in a relationship with us in some ways, right? We're, it's not a, it's not a one-way street, right? There's a give and take on both sides. Um, and by, um, you, you know, and using these counterfeit companies, uh, we are, Basically, you know, thumbing our nose at Games Workshop and saying, hey, you know, I really like your stuff, but not enough to pay for it. So screw you guys. Uh, I'm basically just going to take advantage of, of this other company here who's stealing your, your intellectual property getting, and getting paid for it um, and not giving you anything. So that's I think that's pretty crummy. Um, for people to do that, right? That, uh, you know, we're trying to build a relationship of trust with <laughs> a relationship of trust with Games Workshop and, and at the same time undermining that by, by, you know, purchasing these counterfeit models. So I, I think that's perhaps the, the bigger issue here is that I, I don't think that it is an ethical thing to do for someone to on one side say, hey, I really want you guys to pay attention to us and, and give us more of what we want. We want more FAQs, we want you know better rule sets, we want more models all the time, we want more supplements, we want this and this and this, and then at the same time, you know, abuse them in that and basically in this way. And I don't so that's that's not cool. Um so for those for those two reasons, the legality aspect of it and the moral aspect of it, I think uh, employing counterfeiters is not okay. Now, I understand the desire to have a cheaper alternative, right? And, you know, you can definitely say, you can make an argument saying, hey, listen, I really want this new Forge World model, but I'm not willing to pay for, I'm not willing to pay the price that they're asking for it. And so I would never... I would never buy it at that price. So really, they're not losing any money because I would never buy it in the first place. The only thing that's happening is the counterfeiter is making money because they're providing a product at a price that I'm willing to pay. And yeah, you know, that is that is an argument. But um, it's if you look at the morality and legality aspects of it, of course, then that doesn't matter. Um but also there are other alternatives. Um, if you really wanted to play with that model or, um, you know, use that rule set, you could either go in with some friends and, um, 
you know, purchase that model together, you could save up and, you know, uh, purchase a model that way. Or, you know, if, again, if it's not worth it to you, then why are you willing to undermine your morality, your ethics to purchase a toy? Like that doesn't seem, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would you, um, why would you sell yourself short like that? Um, basically you're saying that your your ethics and your morality are for sale to the person that can offer you the cheapest toy um, effectively and that's that's not cool i don't think that's what the hobby should be about either um, another alternative is to convert right i love conversions um and i love seeing alternative sculpts too alternative sculpts are different than counterfeits because they have an element of originality beyond learning how to copy someone um you know that's that's a completely different story. So if you want to use an alternative model, i.e., um, you know something else made by a different company that roughly fits the same ideas and equipment, go for it. Um, if you want to convert something or build something from scratch, go for it. Um, the line that I draw there is when you take a Gundam action figure and plop it on a base and say, "Hey, this is a Riptide," or take a bunch of pieces of cardboard and glue them together and say, this is an Imperial Night Titan. Um, you know, those two things lack creativity and are not inspired and don't um, help build the hobby and don't contribute anything. They're just cheap ways for you to use the rules and, and kind of laugh your way to the bank. Um, I think you need to put some effort into it. You need to show that you actually care about the the hobby and about the model and not just, you know, exploit the community's goodwill towards conversions and alternative sculpts. Because um, that's effectively what, what you do if you show up with, with a Gundam model and say, oh, well, this is a Riptide. You're exploiting um, everyone else's goodwill. You're taking advantage of them because they're doing that with the expectation that, yeah, there may be someone who doesn't have a particular level of skill, um, but still is trying hard to create a model that they can put on the tabletop. And, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into it and sure maybe it doesn't look great, but it's still something that they created themselves, something original versus something that you just bought and figured you'd uh, put on the table and, you know, get get the same same rules with no effort so again that's not that's not um terribly different from a from an ethical standpoint from people that make counterfeit you are exploiting other people's work and other people's goodwill in order to make a profit either making money from counterfeit models or um winning games by using models that you didn't want to put the effort into uh, convert or find an alternative sculpt or actually just buy the actual model. So, um, yeah, sorry, that's a little long-winded, but uh, <laughs> overall, I think you can kind of take away that I, I don't think buying counterfeits from overseas is okay uh, because it's, uh, you know, they're kind of avoiding the legal system and there's we're trying to build a relationship with Games Workshop and you undermine it by, by you know, supporting these counterfeiters. Beyond those aspects, I think people that uh, exploit the goodwill of tournament organizers and the community as a whole to um, offer poorly executed um, alternatives, cardboard, cardboard cutouts and toys and stuff that aren't aren't miniatures they don't require skill they're they're just stuff um i think i think that's also unacceptable so all right thanks for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm sure some of you are going to really disagree with me and i want to know why um and you know if you agree with me too great uh i'm never going to complain about people agreeing with me um as long as they you know, actually have a good reason to do that. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't want yes men. I want people to actually think about, about their answers and critically evaluate their positions. So wherever you stand on it, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Happy Wargaming.